60 second tip today focusing on separation anxiety a lot of people have issues with their dog and separation anxiety I was just uh, dealing with a client um, that had that with their dog and that spurred obviously this wee tip today so what I'd be focusing on is, is kind of uh, threefold number one is kind of uh, the last thing you'd be doing but number one is how you correct the dog when they show their symptom of the anxiety okay so the dog's barking all the time when you leave them how are you correcting that but to be fair to the dog before you should correct all that you have to make sure that you've set the dog up to succeed that involves two other things that involves teaching them place training go on my youtube channel type in roddy kirk place training on youtube or look at any of my social media videos on place training you'll see how to do that or book a session. Place training will sort that. Secondly, <clears throat> um, is make sure you've exercised the dog before you discipline the mind. So you have to exercise the body of the dog, drain it of energy. Then when you're telling the brain, effectively, you're staying here while I go somewhere else, it's gonna be much easier if you've exercised the body. So make sure you've tired the dog out. You make sure you've taught place training and then make sure that you give uh, the, the dog the appropriate calm affection, as well as making sure that when the dog then does go down the wrong path of producing their anxiety symptoms, so that could be the dog doing the toilet, it could be the dog destroying the place, it could be the dog um, barking or whining. Either way, doing the place training, the dog should be in a crate, so uh, destroying the place, etc. A lot of these things shouldn't even be an issue, but teach place training, Tire the dog before you leave them and make sure you correct the unwanted behaviour.